We're on the Aegean coast of Turkey, one of the most western points in Turkey. The viticulture here dates back to the Greek civilization. They have, we've had viticulture here for many, many years. And when there's viticulture, there's also obviously winemaking. This is a very old, ancient winemaking area. Although our project is very new, we started planting our vines back in 2006 and uh, started producing wine actually in 2015. So it's, it's pretty new as far as we're concerned, but the area from a viticulture point of view is pretty ancient. As with everything in history, it has its ups and it has its downs. I would say it started with the uh, Hittites and started really going up with, with the Greeks, Armenians. They, they had the habit of producing wine here. Even during the Ottoman Empire, which was essentially Islamic, Armenians were producing wine in Turkey. Wine was produced in Turkey, widely consumed in Istanbul, even in the palace. It will be contested, but even in the palace it's, it's consumed. So uh, wine, wine was a big part of the culture of this land. But then afterwards, due to religious reasons, due to social reasons, it dropped. It dropped significantly. And what is Turkey right now ended up at the beginning or mid last century, all the wine producing in Turkey became monopolized. So it was government production in Turkey only. So that kind of killed the quality, that killed the history a little bit. But things changed over time. New millennium started with new projects. There's a lot of new wineries like ours coming up. If we talk specifically about terroir of Çeşme, I think it's very special. It's, it's an unusual place to produce grapes. We're 500 meters from the sea. We're totally flat. It's hot. We're a very small winery. I call it a micro boutique. It's, it's really extremely small. We, we produce about 5,500 to 6,000 bottles a year. And 80% of the production is a rosé. So it is very untraditional wine production. Nobody goes, I think, I don't know any other winery which went into rosé at their first uh, uh, vintage. But that's what we wanted to do because the special thing about this area is this is a beach area. This is a resort where people come and spend their summers. So rosé is very popular here and also worldwide. Rosé consumption is increasing tremendously. So, 